it has been a while. And here we are, right by Biscotti, where we dealt with uh, the chase for the mermaid and the man who was in love. Anyways, now that we got the mermaid part, back from when we beat Glackles and returned to Poseidon, it's time to go down underwater. Because there's a place I could have gone to before dealing with the Galactos. But, you know, doing a little backtracking. Let's take a look. Look at our wonderful map. What did I discover? Not much. But there is a continent off to the west. A little bit southwest as well. That we haven't fully discovered. But there's places underwater we should look to as well. Because we are far from finished from exploring. So let's go uh, north of uh, Piscani to the... Uh, little inlet there. We see a sunken ship. We're going to skip that for a quick moment to go a little bit further northwest. That sunken ship will be pretty awesome place. Only the coastline to the west. What could possibly happen? I have a remembrance to keep sneaking. So if you have a thief, keep sneaking. Or have gained thief abilities. See, once we have to go back to Dharma sometime in this late session. But here's an old man. Old man's about to impart some wisdom to us. Oh, if we could only find Zam. Zam, Zam, Zam. Then we'd have a powerful sword. To another place we should visit soon. The Ice Cave and Mount Snow. But first, we gotta find Zam. Wherever Zam may be. But we have no clue on that, so let's return to the sunken ship down here. Don't mind us, we're just here to uh, invade your ship. There are delicious fruits, of course. But in the jelly sea. Let me go ahead and use that jelly sea real quick, or else I'll forget for the future. Also, still don't know what a sand container does. But small metal. That's better than sand. Well, let's. Search the depths of this mysterious ship and discover more barrels. Oh no, we've got into the battles with flying ducks. We've seen these before. Nope, only our regular party can enter this ship for some reason. But yeah, now that Muriel knows defeat, they're sitting ducks. And now Shimuro is a crime boss. And has the spell of locate. Oh, Shami, you used to be a nice little boy. Now I've gone and corrupted you. What is this? Detect all open chests. I guess that doesn't mean there's any... Uh, is that or uh, we're not technically in dun a dungeon? Either way, going further on down. 
we have Marine Serpents. Cool. We'll probably beat them really now that we have very strong tactics, but nonetheless. Those were Marine Serpents. Oh, by the way, we're no longer sneaking. Apparently, we weren't sneaking in the first place. Gotta watch out for those serpents, though. Because they can get uh, a bite that'll confuse your party members. Of course, lucky me. I has powerful... Unlucky me? There's an Onada. Along with, of course, our friend the Iron Turtle. Om Dean is watching this hill. You should watch your health too. Because this is being reported during that. That thing where we cannot mention it. But here's a barrel. Apparently, the uh, Marine Serpent had a saw blade. I have no idea why a snake would have a uh, saw blade. Let's see if anybody can equip that. Nope. Slightly weaker than the Platinum Sword for Hassan, but not very stylish at all. I'll give it to one of my members that. One day when I can fight from the caravan. In the dungeon. Probably not. But I see some treasure over there. Inside these wonderful drawers is thick armor. As opposed to thin armor. We've seen the thick armor in the star before. But for most of us, it is not going to be a uh, upgrade. It's also not stylish at all. So here. But now it's time for more pawns. Hassan is now a traitor. Yes, just like Shamaro. I didn't exactly plan out my uh, classes very well, if you haven't noticed already. But nonetheless. Nonetheless, this place has a high encounter rate. For such a small place, obviously. I just realized I missed something from the old man. We'll worry about it later. Instead, we have Ocean Naga. Naga, 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 he's gonna nag you. Oh no, they know Paralyzation Breath. Hassan strikes back with his own breath. Thank goodness for Numbong. Numbong! When everything gets numb. Snakes, after all. Slightly better experience in gold. And Bob Ray is now a great gentleman. <sighs> There's a reason she's a dancer. Yeah, multiple advanced classes. And now she can have glass shoes. Like the Cinderella she always wanted to be. They're actually not very styling compared to what I have right now. And strangely, they are glass shoes for men and women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You uh, you tell me. I'm just gonna 
throw him the bottle right now. And the final key. Kind of early to give you getting the final key, isn't it? Never the nonetheless, by far the most important item in the game. Ish. Not really. Sort of. Alright, let's see if we can exit this place. And go back to that old man real quick. Shamie, it's time to sneak once again. Crime balls. He's a criminal. So let's check out this uh, northern continent, rather. We can go. When does an island become a continent? That's a very good question. Okay, we don't have to be underwater anymore. And just letting you know there is a shrine there, but we're skipping that for the quick moment. And we're no longer sneaking. And I think we have to go on the water one more time as well. Yes, I'm being told we have to go on the water one more time. So big, whip out that. Beautiful mermaid arm. You know, there's a Chanel under here. Oh, that wasn't much. Or was it? Yeah, it's enough to get us through the uh, town that was enclosed by a mountain. And in the next video, we find out what this strange little uh, mini town is.